Hello and welcome to the Sunday Million. I'm David Tuckman. We are here for yet another highlight show. 7,324 runners narrowed down to just nine, a prize pool of over $1.46 million. And our final nine, well, we've got four Canadians. The bottom three here, Diana77, Daddy Muff, and some, one Canadian. Well, three of those players eliminated right away. We're gonna jump ahead to hand 27 where we take a look at our final six. Among our final six, three Canadians. By the way, Daddy Muff from the UK finished runner-up in the Sunday warm-up back in 2009. So six players remain, hand 27, blinds are 150,000, 300,000. On the button, with the Rovo Dice from Latvia, raises 2x. Stack them with the ace 10 is going to three bet. And we always talk about this dynamic between the button and the blinds, and we could see a four bet shove here. But Mersballs is going to give that one up. If Mersballs had the chip lead, if he had Francis Poker's stack, you might have seen a four bet really put pressure on your opponents. Just one of those dynamics where the player on the button doesn't necessarily need a big hand, and because of that, stack him. He doesn't necessarily need a big hand either. And if you're Mers Balls, you know that. It just happens to be in this particular case, both players have strong hands. So we've got a raise, we've got a three bet, we've got a fold, and now we've got a call, and here's the flop. 10, 8, 3, two diamonds. Talk about an action flop. Overs and diamonds for Robo Dice. Stackern with top pair, top kicker. Stacker in first to speak. Pot just under three and a half million. Leads out for 1.5 million. Action on Robo Dice. And how do you play it if you're Robo Dice? You know you're not going to get your opponent to fold an overpair. Or anything better than that. At the same time, though, with overs and a diamond draw, you could play that hand aggressively. King on the turn. Robo Dice has now picked up a gut shot straight draw to go along with his flush draw and his overs. Little does he know, obviously, that his ace is no good. Stackern continues to bet small, 1.5 million. Action on Robo Dice. Stackern, by the way, from Sweden. And Robo Dice calls once more. River's a complete blank. And I think if you're Stacker, and you can actually bet this one more time for value. I mean, if you're, if you do check here, you're checking to induce. I assume. You're not going to check and then fold. That's for sure. He does check. And I just don't know if a bet makes sense here. With the line that Robo Dice has taken, I just don't know if bluffing makes sense. Robo Dice with just over 10.6 million chips has Stacker uncovered, and he's going to check it back. Now, I'm not sure if I play the hand the same way Robo Dice played. I might play the hand a little bit more aggressively on the flop or the turn. But with the line that Robo Dice took by just calling the flop, calling the turn, I do like the check back with Ace Jack. I don't know if you were going to get a better hand to fold. Vizolt, 800 from Hungary, is all in with King Jack. He's all in for about 12 big blinds. Vizolt, by the way, continuing his good form of 2012. Last year, he won the Sunday warm-up and came fourth in a W Coupe event. Vizolt on a great run. Robo Dice makes the call. And 
And I don't believe anybody else is going to get involved here. Merge Balls gets out of the way. Francis Poker gets out of the way. And Wiesold at risk with the King Jack up against Robo Dice's Queens. 996, nothing there for Wiesold. 800 right now. Looking for a king. A queen would give Wiesold 800 a straight, but Robo Dice would have a full house. Deuce of Spades is going to do nothing for him. And Wiesold 800. Gone in sixth place, takes home $45,408. Five players remain. Stacker in with the ace jack off suit and 22.4 million chips. He's our chip leader right now. He's going to make it 2x, or as we always say, two times the big blind. Merge balls folds. Francis Poker with 17 million chips and pack of kings. The Cowboys. There's the three bet. Perfect spot to get him as well because a lot of times that three bet on the button looks like a move. You don't necessarily need a hand to three bet on the button. In this particular case, Francis Poker has got it. Back over to Stacker with Ace Jack. Five handed Ace Jack, a very big hand. And Stacker is going to four bet. Small four bet. And Francis Poker clicking it back one more time. Three bet, a four bet, and now a five bet. And if you've got ace jack off suit, I just don't know how much you like your hand. You can call this, though. I'm not normally a big fan of calling big bets from out of position, but in this particular case, the odds are just too compelling not to call. Stacker makes the call and promptly flops trip aces against Francis Poker's kings. Much easier to get away from kings when you see one ace. When you see two aces, less likely your opponent has one, more likely you continue on with kings. Stacker and checks over to Francis Poker. Pot is enormous, by the way, nearly 13 million chips, and Francis Poker bets 4 million. Not sure I like this bet by Francis Poker. And Stacker just shoves all in. We don't like to uh, pull punches or mince words here. Not sure I like the way either player has played this post-flop. I mean, if you're Francis Poker, you're either way ahead or way behind. Not much value in putting what amounts to about 35% of your stack in there. And if you're Stacker, in the same thing. You're either way ahead or you're way behind. Interesting play, though. Anyway, you look at it, though. Stacker now up to nearly 32 million chips. Francis Poker at 6.7 million chips. Big Dog Pocket Fives raises with Ace Deuce. Talk about a guy who is hot. Casey Jarzebeck, Big Dog Pocket Fives, has a win in the Sunday warm-up about a month ago. He won the Super Tuesday on January 8th and made the final table of last week's Sunday Million, finishing fourth for 137,000. Um, pretty amazing when you think about it. This is a guy who's won over $300,000 on stars since December 9th. And obviously still in the running here for a title. So we got a raise from Big Dog, a 3-bet from Robo Dice, a 4-bet shove from Francis Poker, and now a call from Robo Dice after Big Dog folds. Francis at risk, but he flops a set. Robo Dice hits his ace, but needs running cards. They are not going to come, and Francis Poker will double up. Robo Dice down to 7.8 million chips. Still five-handed here in the Sunday Million. Once again, 7,324 players. We are down to our final five. And if you want to be part of the action, we are giving you that opportunity for free. That's right, for free. But you need the password, and that's coming later. Everywhere. We are poker. We are poker indeed. Welcome back to the Sunday Million Highlights Show. I'm David Tuckman. Three Canadians among our final five. 
but a Swede on top of the leaderboard, Stacker, and with nearly 32 million chips. We're gonna jump ahead nine hands. Stacker now at 32.3 million chips. Merzballs at the bottom of the leaderboard with 6.1 million. Merzballs, by the way, several notable scores on stars, including a third place in a W Coupe event. Blinds now 200,000, 400,000. Robo dice in the cutoff. It's going to make it 2x. Stacker and folds. Merz balls now in the small blind. Maybe a three bet shove. Yep, there's the three bet shove for 15 big blinds. It's a nice three bet shoving stack. And I like the play. I mean, I think King Queen way ahead of Robo Dice's raising range. Plus, you might get some better hands to fold. In this particular case, you might get Ace-8 to fold. Robo Dice makes the call, though. 12.7 million in the pot. Murs Balls behind and at risk. Not anymore, though. Pair of kings for Merz Balls. Robo Dice needs running cards or an ace. And now only an ace will save Robo Dice. And that, my friends, is not an ace. Seven of clubs on the river. Robo Dice down to 906,000 ships. Merz Balls 66 up to 12.7 million. Robo Dice with less than two big blinds. Behind, I should say, since he is in the big blind right now. Blinds are 250,000, 500,000. Stacker and raises. Merz balls calls. Big Dog possibly looking at a squeeze. There's the squeeze from Big Dog. Unfortunate timing for him. Robo dice all in as well. Stacker's not folding jacks. In fact, he moves all his chips into the middle. That should get Merzball 66 to fold his eights. Merzball does just that. And we see it three ways. It's the side pot that's the significant one, though. That's the one that Stackern's going to want to win. And you can see that Stackern is a favorite, but not a favorite against the field. Only a 48% chance of winning this pot. Nine deuce deuce, a pair of nines for Big Dog. Stackern still in the lead with jacks and deuces. A full house makes the flush draw that Robo Dice picked up irrelevant. The river, it's the ace. And Big Dog, pocket five, hits a bigger full house, twos full of aces to win not only the main pot, but the side pot and take the chip lead. Robo Dice eliminated in fifth place. The Latvian takes home $122,000, courtesy of a five-way deal these players made. Still plenty of money left on the table. And of course, the prestigious Sunday Million title. Stacker and raises from the button with fours. Merz ball with about 22 big blinds. You might see a three bet here. You do see the three bet. It's the three bet shove from Merz balls. Francis Poker is going to fold back over to Stacker. And, and this is a tough spot with a small pocket pair. Very rarely are you going to be dominating your opponent. Generally, you're either a four to one dog or it's a coin flip, which is why a lot of very good players don't like to call off with small pocket pairs. But Stackard makes the call. Jack 5 3, a set for Merz Balls, and Stackard way, way behind. Needs a club, though. A club would win it for him. Eight of Spades not going to win it for him, though. And Merz Balls up to 22.8 million chips. Stackard. Now our short stack with under 10 million. Pretty crazy hand there. You flop a set and you still might lose. Stacker needed running cards, caught one club, but couldn't catch the second one. Big Dog raises with 9-8. Merz Ball is going to make the call with the King Queen. Francis gets out of the way. We'll see this one heads up. Flop is queen, 10, 9. Big dog with a bottom pair and a gut shot. Murs balls with top pair and a gut shot.
Goes check, check. And the turn is the nine. Big Dog takes the card and hits trips. Murr's Balls leads out for a million. You expect Big Dog to raise this. No, he just makes the call. Kind of surprised. You hit trip nines. Why wouldn't you raise that? Big Dog definitely underrepresenting the strength of his hand. No reason for Murr's Balls not to bet this for value. And sure enough, he bets two and a half million. And Big Dog just makes the call. I mean, a very, very odd play by Big Dog Pocket 5. I'm not going to question Casey Jarzebeck because this guy is hot. Like I said, he is on an absolute tear in 2013. And in fact, really on a tear since December 9th of last year. Um, but that's an odd play. I feel like he could have raised the turn and made it look like he was on a big draw. He certainly could have raised the river. Get a raise from Murr's Balls, a call from both the small blind and the big blind. Flop is queen eight, deuce, very dry. Perfect flop for Murr's Balls to put a continuation bet out there on. Both blinds check. And I'm betting this 100% of the time. In a two-way pot, I'm betting this 100% of the time. I understand the adage of sometimes checking back a marginal hand to get value on a later straight. But in this particular case, against two opponents, I want to protect my equity in the pot. I think the chips are just too important. Interesting turn card here. Not only does it give Big Dog the lead with a pair of aces, but Francis Poker and Murr's Balls both pick up flush draws. Francis Poker has all pi also picked up a gut shot wheel draw. So we get a bet here from Big Dog. You expect a call from Murr's Balls. There's the call. If I'm Francis Poker, I might raise this. I don't think either player is particularly strong, and I might be able to raise this and represent. Instead, he just makes the call. The river's a club. What an action card here. It's going to kill Big Dog's hand. Talk about being unlucky if you're Francis Poker. This is a cooler. You get a check, a check, over to Murr's Balls. No reason not to bet if you're Murr's Balls. In fact, I'm actually kind of surprised that Francis Poker did not lead out. I think a backdoor draw is actually likely, and if Murr's Balls didn't have clubs, I just don't know if he's betting it. Francis Poker, obviously going to make the call. Wisely decides not to check raise all in. Saves himself some chips. Not going to like what he sees, though, and Murr's Balls plays the hand a little bit unconventionally and gets the absolute max. Up to 25.8 million chips now. Hand 85. Blind still 250,000, 500,000. Francis Poker with the King 10. Expect him to shove here. He's going to raise. He raises, stacker and shoves. I, I just don't think you can raise and then call off with King-10. I and mean, that's exactly what Francis Poker does. Um, to me, the play is if you're going to make, if you're going to call off, I'd rather just shove with the King-10. 8-7-6. Francis Poker needs a 9, a 10, or a King. 6 isn't going to help him. Once again, a 9, a 10, or a King. Or Francis Poker is out the door. Out the door he is. Francis Poker, the Canadian, gone in fourth place. Does take home $134,000. Nice payday. Three players remain here in the Sunday Million. Big Dog still our chip leader. Once again, Casey Jarzebeck. He won the Sunday warm-up about a month ago. He won the Super Tuesday on January 8th and made the final table of last week's Sunday Million. Finishing fourth. He's already bested that performance. So we got a raise from Big Dog, a three bet from Stackern. Big Dog makes the call. Pot 4.65 million. 
Flop is 10-8 deuce. Action flop here. Stacker with a pair of eights. I don't think he's going to fold this. Big dog with an open-ended draw. A lot of outs for Big Dog, obviously. A six, a jack, or a nine would give him the lead. Stacker and bets two million. Big Dog makes the call. King on the turn. Big Dog probably hoping his opponent would check the turn and he could take it away on the turn. But Stacker continues firing. Kind of a small bet. Two million into 8.6 million. And if you're Big Dog... Maybe you raise here? Nope, he decides just to call. Might be hard for Big Dog to represent the king. Doesn't make a ton of sense, I suppose. Stackern hits trips on the river. Now the only question is, does Stackern check to induce the bluff? If he knew what Big Dog had, obviously that's the play. Instead, he decides to shove in for 8.9 million. Obviously, Big Dog not going to make the call with 9 high. He folds. Big Dog still our chip leader. Three players remain here at the Sunday Million. Who will win the title? We are 10,000 people in Brazil holding our breath. We are alone. Hunters. Hunted. We are committed. Blessed. Calm. We are all in. We are poker. Welcome back to the Sunday Million Highlights Show. If you're waiting for the password, here it is. The online poker show free roll. Get in on the action, and maybe you will be at the final table next week. So three players remain. At hand 86, this is what it looked like. Really, anybody's tournament. Two Canadians, one Swede. Big dog in the lead, but not by much. We're going to jump ahead about 10 hands. Not a ton has happened right now. Stacker and still our short stack with 22.5 million. Big Dog still our chip leader with under 27 million. Blinds are 300,000, 600,000. Stacker not playing his button with the king. Maybe a little bit of a surprise. Murs balls in the small blind. Raises min. See a lot of players actually raise more than minimum from the small blind. Murs balls decides min's enough. Big Dog makes the call. And uh, he's way behind here with King 4. Murs Balls started the hands with the best of it and still has the best of it with a pair of fives. And based on what we've seen from Murs Balls, you'd expect him to check here. He's got a hand with showdown value, so he checks it. I'm not a huge fan of it, I'll be honest. Obviously, Murs Balls is a very good player. He has several notable scores on stars. Uh, third place in the No Limit Hold'em W Coop event. And he's getting value uh, where other players might not get value. You know, he induces this bluff from Big Dog. Obviously, Murs Ball is not going to fold. You just have to realize, obviously, that your hand is somewhat vulnerable. Murs Ball is obviously supremely confident in his ability to know where he's at in a hand. It goes check, check on the turn. Running queens. And if you're Murs Balls, I think you can actually bet this for value. I mean, I think you have the best hand almost all the time. He's going to check, though. Big Dog is going to try to bluff at it. He bets $3.6 million. He might play a pair of nines like this. 
Mers balls can really only beat a bluff now. I can't imagine Big Dog betting a weaker hand than Ace Five for value. Mers balls makes the call, and uh, up to now 29.8 million chips. He's our chip leader. And give him credit. Once again, Mers balls gets the maximum value from his hand. Stacker and raises on the button with Jack Ten. Mers ball is not going to play. Big Dog. Going to make the call with 7-4 suited. Interesting flop here. Big Dog. A 2-1 to favorite now. He's got a pair of 7s to go along with a gut shot. Stacker and with over cards. Plus the gut shot. He bets 1.2 million. Actually not a terrible flop for Stacker. And I mean, you prefer there to be at least one hard out there. Overs, gut shot. Figure he's got 10 outs. Well, he's got a lot less than 10 outs now. Trip sevens for big dog pocket fives. Who now is trip seven? Stacker needs a nine. He's going to continue firing. He knows Jack High has no showdown value. Bets $3 million into $5.2 million. And Big Dog makes the call. Decides not to raise the turn. And the river's a six. Big Dog has hit his straight. Checks it one more time. One liner to a straight out there. Stacker obviously knows he's no good. Just a question of, can I rep a straight here? Can I bluff at this one? And he's going to bet $3.6 million, and I just can't imagine Big Dog folding. He makes the call, and Big Dog plays the hand once somewhat passively and gets absolute full value from it. Stacker down to uh, under 10 million chips, hand 105. Big Dog and Mers Balls each at about 30 million chips. Stacker and raising. Based on what we've seen from Mers Balls, you expect a three bet here. Sure enough, there it is, the three bet to three million. Big Dog with the gap suited connector. Not going to get involved in a three bet pot, though. I don't think you can call this if you're Stacker. Nope, Stacker's going to shove all in. No fold equity whatsoever. Mers Ball's not going anywhere for 6 million chips. He makes the call. He was getting more than 2 to 1. And uh, it's a race. King 5 against 3s. And there's the 5 plus the spade draw. Wow. What a flop for Stacker. Hits a pair of 5s plus the spade draw. Mers Ball's needs a 3 to eliminate him. Queen of Clubs not going to do it, and Stacker doubles up to 19 and a half million chips. Mers balls down to just under 23 million. Sometimes better to be lucky than good. Mers balls on the button with 10 8 suited. Besides, not to raise that, I'm a little bit surprised. These players playing it somewhat passively, uh, especially pre flop on the button. I always find it interesting to see how each Sunday million takes on a personality of its own. Big Dog raises from the small blind. Stacker is going to three bet. You can't call this from out of position, I don't think. Nope. Big Dog is going to try to represent. He four bets. And Stacker is going to five bet. And obviously, at this point, Big Dog's got to realize that uh, he's way behind. He makes the call, though. Unfortunately, not much there for him. The cards are red, but they're hearts. Two hearts and one diamond. Nine, seven, five. Stacker 
And he goes, you know what? You got it. You got it. I'm going all in with my queens. And obviously, Big Dog cannot make the call. And just like that, Stacker, who was under 10 million chips like four hands ago, is now our chip leader. That's how quickly things change in No Limit Hold'em. Big dog tanking here for no particular reason. Maybe trying to save face. Maybe trying to make it look like he had a big hand. And eventually his cards go in the muck. And as they do, Stacker and Rakes in the chips. He is now up to 29.6 million chips. Still three-handed here at the Sunday Million. Once again, these players have made a deal. But a lot of money and the title still up for grabs. Big dog raises on the button. Stacker in the small blind with a6. I prefer a three bet here to just a call. And Stacker does three bet to three million. A hand like a6 offsuit, playing that hand out of position can be very difficult. Of course, you just got in a raising war with this player. And do you really want to go to war with a hand like a6? And sure enough, big dog four bets. Back over to Stackern. Does he really want to double up big dog with a hand like a6 offsuit? Yep, he's going to shove all in. I don't think you're making it 7 million to fold. Big Dog makes the call, and he's way ahead. Ace-10 against Ace-6. A little bit of a misstep from Stackern. He picks up a gut shot straight draw. Needs a 6 or a 7. There's the 6. Big Dog at risk. Needs a 7 to chop it, a 10 to win it. 8 of hearts not going to help him, and Big Dog pocket 5 is gone in third place. Casey Jarzabuck. Man, this guy has been on such a run. Like I said, won a Super Tuesday, won a Sunday warm-up, made the final table in last Sunday million. He has earned $417,000 on stars since December 9th. Big Dog Pocket 5, Casey Jarzebeck finishes in third place. Takes home $118,000. What a run. We are heads up here. Stackern, Murs Balls, Kings against Fours. Murs Balls at risk. Obviously, Stackern going to make the call. Will a four come? Not yet. Jack, 10, 6, 2 diamonds out there. Running diamonds. Not going to come. Only a four will save Murs balls. It's the Jack of Spades, and that is it. Wow, what a final table. Murs balls, 66, with several notable scores on stars, adds a second-place Sunday million to his poker resume, as well as $95,000. Stacker, though, the Swede takes home the title, takes home $164,000. Very intriguing final table it was. Four Canadians at the final table, including Big Dog Pocket Fives. Casey Jarzebeck's story worth repeating. Two big wins and two final tables in the last couple of months. Definitely a player to watch. Congrats again to Stackern, who won the Sunday Million. And thank you for joining us. As always, all the highlights here on PokerStars.tv. Until next time, I'm David Tuckman. Reach the stars.